Hey, what's up, world? It's your boy, the Tubeless Wonder. Back with another video. And this will just be a quick one about just pursuing purpose, you know what I mean? And I'm under the belief that um, you may not know what your purpose is. But if you're, if you're on an active pursuit thereof, eventually you'll walk into it. Or how the words say, a man gift will make room for him. Like, I got, I like, like, if, if. I ask myself, what are my gifts? They really don't benefit me none. Like I'm able to see the, the abilities of others without hating on them and maybe coming up with a master plan or, or you know, giving advice. Uh, my heart, you know, being, you know, strong-minded. But those things typically don't benefit me any. And I said to myself when I was younger, I'm like, man, when I size myself up in relation to the world that I had seen up until that point, I say, man, I'm going to have a hard life. <laughs> and, and boy, I spoke properly into myself. <clears throat> now, that, without getting into a whole bunch of particulars, um, the, the path I've walked has given me purpose. Like all the stuff I used to pray to get out of these various circumstances when I was living in Baltimore was actually honing my experiences to be able to do what I, ultimately I, I, wanted, I want to give back in some degree. I want to be able to positively influence um especially you know in these various social constructs of education where it doesn't really breed uh creativity or 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 outside the box thinking to me if you ask me it just preps you to work for somebody else which we see now ain't nothing wrong with that but we see now um working for somebody else the you know especially if you don't have higher levels of education you're, you're barely making it. And then you're probably, you know, up to your neck in debt, you know, just got funneled into a system you didn't even know existed. So it looks like that I'll be stepping into a new realm, which had nothing to do with my plan. Um, earlier on, you know, I saw some holes in my game as a man, one of which being the ability to, to be industrious or use my hands for like building, repairing, diagnosing things of that nature. So doing my normless, uh, numerous rather, uh, seasons of life in Baltimore, I would always go to these free trains. I did so many trains and used none of them. CNC machine operator. I took solar a couple times. Now I got that now and I got old books. I got, can use it for myself. Uh, job train to get down to the port of Baltimore. What else? Uh, pre, uh, construction carpentry. Uh, there's another one. What else I do? Um, shucks. Oh, utilities. Uh, got a whole bunch of search for, uh, you know, confined spaces, asbestos, and use none of them. Now, granted, I still have the material. You know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Um, so I had these, in my, but I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get these, you know, trying to build up my skill set, you know, moving forward or trying to operate with a vision but it seemed like the most high said nah that ain't where i want you to and i did get a job in solar um relatively decent commute um paying decent but like i said i don't know if, if it's me because i'd be checking myself like am i getting lazy do i am i not uh want to get uncomfortable you know what i'm saying do, do, do. this is what i say i wanted went to school for it i got a job in it Get prepped and ready, just like when I said it put like previous. Um, I did that at a job that offered me a promotion and quit. But it, but, 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 mm, excuse me, but me quitting actually put me on a path to a financial breakthrough that I've been working on for over a year. So, had I not quit and take that calculated risk, which I truly believe my spidey sense was tingling, like this season's over with, you've maxed out what you can do here, it's time to move on. But typically, when you move on, you don't know what you're moving on to, you just have to move in faith. Um, your boy will be working in the school system with, you know, in the particular town I live in, you know, the youth are at a great disadvantage, um, not just educationally or the structure of, of that particular institution or system, but, but seeing people who resemble and can relate to them on their terms. You know, when I was in school, a lot of times, uh, people talk at you, but don't talk to you under this kind of authority construct. However, you're not trying to understand where I'm coming from. 
Because especially like the older models, you know, do as I say and just blindly listen. But a lot of times when you grow up in a single family household, you don't have a lot of support. Uh, you're kind of dismissed or people just put these negative asterisks on you for whatever reason. You, you kind of, you start, especially men, you kind of, well, at least me anyway. You kind of become adversarial to older men attempting to tell you what to do unless you perceive that they generally care. You see what I'm saying? Because I think at that age we're open to, but we don't see a whole lot of it. Maybe, you know, family members are immersed with work or they may be, you know, in some type of other behavior that may be, you know, detrimental to their presence being in your life. Like my pa, he just worked all the time. He wasn't on like alcohol and that like that. He would just, you know, work all day, you know, out that old school player mob. So when I lived with him, I really, and then he was kind of a civilian contractor for the army. So, um, like now we're have this personal relationship, but. At this point, I'm 17 going on 18. I'm like, all this barking orders at me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'd just be dismissive of it. It was to my detriment. However, he didn't establish, and I'm holding for it now, a per, like he didn't attempt to understand me. You see what I'm saying? Um, so I think, and then, you know, I've been on this path of, and then discover, and I've had numerous jobs, as I stated before, and just or, or go to the job, look at the building, shake my head, and go to the beach, cause my spirit's not in it. Then I'll be checking myself, like, yo, am I getting lazy, or do I, or, or have I gotten or moved into this construct of I'm gonna do what I feel like doing when I feel like doing it, which, to some degree, um, but I truly believe my spirit isn't in it. And my spirit isn't in anything I've already previously done. Like, yeah, build, okay, I go get a warehouse job. But then, you know, I wake up, let's say I work the 3 to 11 shift, I wake up 10 o'clock, I'm like, oh my God, I gotta be to work in five hours. Uh. And then after after work, I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I need a job that don't feel like one. So working with these youngins, and just remember how it was when I was a youngin, I think just right in my wheelhouse. And then having... Um, I'll be somewhat like a teacher, hate, teacher's aid, behavioral interventionist type of thing. Uh, and then with my previous experience in treatment uh, and connecting with adults who have, you know, issues mentally, you know, behaviorally, so on and so forth. Let me see if I can reach back and, and, and influence the youngins to to overcome from an overcomer, you know, myself. Let me be able to to converse with you in terms you can understand that you can recognize as you see things or as you perceive the world in a way of, oh, that's what he was talking about. Oh, this is probably what I should do. You know what I'm saying? Let's, I know your frontal lobe, they say, isn't fully developed at that age. I'll be with the middle school. But we're going to start working on that now. Because I find it odd. It's like we don't even care about our youth anymore. Like, I used to spy the guys who, like, I said they're in the streets or something. Okay, I can't stop you. But, but here's the real game. They'll take the youth and send them on dummy missions and get them all jammed up, locked up. Then they, they, then they got to join some organization so some older dude don't pray on them. Like, when did we start praying on our youth? If our youth don't surpass us, we're done. That's just like, like let's say the baby boomer generation who never really gave, like, my age bracket any game. Other than, you know, go work for the peoples and, you know what I'm saying? If you have a bunch of kids pay child support so you can stay out of jail. But they never, like pushed, you know, take the baton and push the family forward. You know what I mean? And I'm feeling really, really, really optimistic. Not, not optimistic, but I just feel really blessed to have walked a certain journey and then found my niche. You know what I'm saying? And in in an in area and in a place and in, you know, a segment of society that is crumbling like everything else. I feel like the, the, the appointed sentinel sent in behind enemy lines to rescue the captives' minds, you know what I'm saying? And because it's something I find purposeful fulfilling. Uh, of course, it'll be school hour, but I'll be researching up because, you know, it's, it's something per Like, if, if I like doing it, I don't, I'm like Kevin Gates, I don't get taught. You know what I'm saying? And being able to impact those who society maybe is labeled a certain thing or have certain uh, uh, diagnoses or whatever. You know, I'm out that old school mile to this degree. You know, old, like, you might be doing whatever. There ain't nothing wrong with that boy. He'll grow out of it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to slap some label on, slam some pills in your mouth, 
and then try to stunt you from ever growing out. Like I used to practice like kind of OCD to a degree. When I was young, I just grew out of it. Like I had to like turn the light off a certain way. I had to like certain stuff had to be situated a certain way for me to be able to go to sleep. But if it wasn't, then I had to get up and do it again. And I just grew out of it. Like certain stuff going on with my daughter, I thought like, yo, she all right. Just let her work through it. How can you ever develop unless you work through things like growing pains? You know what I mean? It's per for your growth or development into adulthood. But if you circumvent growing pain, you never become a functional adult. <clears throat> Just like they say in the addiction world, uh, whenever whatever age you start using, that's when you stop mentally developing. So typically, you know, you might have a guy stop, you know, doing whatever drug of choice is and he's 40. But he'll still behave and have the emotions of, say, a 16 or whatever time he started. And then it takes the, 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 the brain and doing new things over extended, you know, consistently over extended period of time to to rewire the brain. So you don't to start developing again. And that's what I'm kind of. And of course, I ain't trying to usurp authority or tell, you know, people above me what to do. And I might again, I might not know all the, the, the clinical terms. But I, I can operate in those clinical terms and application. I just don't know the word to use. But they'll train you and, you know, do all that good jazz. But I'm looking forward to this. And this is just a message just to keep plugging. Just keep shooting. You know what I'm saying? If you open, don't don't second second guess yourself. If you open, shoot it. I missed the last seven. Well, you're going to miss all of them you don't take. Let's not take bad shots. But when the shot presents itself, let's take it. And all that, I'm going to sign off, y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Ooh, ah!